Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to do back wrap cross carry, which is a really great beginner back carry if you're first learning how to back wrap. Um, if you are first learning how to back wrap, though, it's a good idea to visit your local baby wearing group or your local baby wearing consultant and get some hands on help. Um, it can also help to have a spotter to wrap over a soft surface. Um, and learning to back wrap takes a little bit of time, so be patient, give it a try every day until you've got the hang of it. So I'm starting, I've got this wrap, this is a size 6 wrap, and I have the middle marker in the middle of my baby's back, just below her um, armpits. And what I'm going to do is hip scoot her onto my back, and then I'm going to go about the carry. So to hip scoot her, first thing I'm going to do is bring the wrap around behind me nice and tight, and then over my shoulder, so that now I have it very snug over my shoulder here. Notice that it's under both of her arms. She likes to be arms out. If she wanted to be arms in, I could put her arms in, in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to have her be arms out now. I find that hip scooting with arms out is just a bit more secure too because the top edge of the wrap is right under their arms. Um, and then they can't lean back while you're scooting them. All right, so I've got my top edges very snugly held in one hand. I'm going to hold her, lift my arm up over her, sort of like a swimming stroke. Now I've got her bottom in one hand and the wrap in the other hand and I'm going to scoot her around. As I scoot, I'm sliding her butt to the side and I'm pulling the wrap along with it, keeping those top edges really tight. Okay, so now I have something that looks like this. I've got one tail over one shoulder, one tail under. Got my baby on my back. I think I'm going to get her a tad higher before I start. So I'm taking my hand on her bum. I'm just going to do a little bounce up. That's pretty good height, I think. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is make a seat. So I'm going to take the two top edges really tight and pin them under my chin. And then I'm going to reach behind me, pull this extra up straight down. Then I'm going to reach under her legs. It's way easier to reach if you're going, if you're going over their legs, it's hard to reach. If you go under their legs, it's way easier. Pull the bottom edge taut, bring it knee to knee, and sweep her knees up as I do that. Okay. Now, this carry starts with both tails under your arms. So I need to move this tail that's over my shoulder under my arms. I'm getting everything really tight before I do anything. I'm going to take this tail out really tight to the side. Get my arm over it. Okay. Bounce her up one more time. Now I'm going to tie half knot here at the chest. That's what makes this carry super great because we have a half knot here. You can take a break if you're getting out of breath or tired as you get. So I'm going to take a break. Just going to feel for it. Got a good seat. Stand up a little. Bounce her if she gets upset. She's not, but if she were to. All right. I'm going to pull this really tight. And you see how one of these tails naturally wants to go down and one wants to go up? I'm going to take the one that wants to go up and pin that between my knee. That's going to help keep this half knot really nice and snug. All right, then I'm going to take this one over my shoulder, kind of fanning it out over my arm, find the top edge behind me, and I'm putting my hand in here to kind of push it out over her bottom, push it out over her bottom, across her back, and I'm going to gather it up here, bringing it across her back high. And this bottom edge, I'm going to take it, make sure it's coming down alongside her from the crook of this knee, and then over to the crook of that knee, so it makes almost like an L shape. I'm going to pull this really snug, take all the slack out, and pin that, take that under her knee. Alright, now I'm going to work with the side that I had pinned before. So I'm going to take this one, pin between the knees, and this side, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So bring it over my arm, this is why I find my blue top edge, and then I'm putting my elbow in there to kind of push it out over her and bring this side out wide bring it over her back i can take both hands with them sweep it over her back bring that across i'm going to take the bottom edge bring it all the way from this knee over to that knee and tighten across the width of the wrap so i'm tightening the top the middle through the bottom then i'm taking that and tucking that under her leg now, if I want her to get a tiny bit higher at this point, I can take my two tails out to the side, a little bit in front of me and out to the side, and do a little bounce. So I'm going to go bounce, 
bounce, and that gets her a good bit higher. So my pass is nice and tight. Now I'm going to tie a double knot in front. And I'm going to spread my shoulder so that that's nice and comfortable for me. And there you have back wrap cross carry. It's a really great first back carry. It's really secure, fairly easy to learn. Practice it every day until you got the hang of it.